today we will study that how the insulin is released in the pancreas so this is the pancreas and uh, this is uh, the duct and uh, inside the pancreas lies the cells the beta cells and this is the vessel and this is the islet of pancreas what happened that whenever the concentration of glucose in the body increases or it increases above the 100 um, mg per dl then what happens the diffusion of glucose from higher concentration to the lower concentration takes place and the glucose goes inside the glucose through this channel goes inside the beta cell where there lies the mitochondria and mitochondria leads to the formation of ATP and when ATP then when this ATP comes in contact with the potassium channel it blocks there what happens when the potassium channel is blocked the depolarization of the membrane takes place and as soon as this depolarization takes place the calcium channel opens and calcium influx occurs so in the nature in the body system wherever the calcium will go it will cause if suppose the calcium goes in the nerve it will cause the conduction if the calcium goes into the muscle it will cause the muscle contraction if the calcium will go into the gland it will cause this the gland to secrete so the same thing happens here so as soon as the calcium goes there it leads to the formation of insulin in the cells beta cells and the insulin is released in the blood so what happened that <clears throat> this is the normal mechanism and if you will continue to eat for years and years what will happen the same process will continue and uh, the more you eat the more insulin is released because of the more glucose concentration there it will pour get diffused into it and more amount of insulin will release you will continue to do it for about 15 to 20 years and ultimately what will happen the beta cell they will not be able to release the insulin because you can say the beta cells will get exhausted so ultimately during the earlier phases you will see a rise in the insulin level before it drops because there is a one limit only up to which the insulin will be released and after that these beta cells will you can say will fail or will develop resistance and they will not release the insulin and at that time the diabetes will happen and the stage during these 15 to 20 years when the beta cells is trying to release the as much of insulin as you need it comes under the pre-diabetes stage and this is the stage where you can if you can control if you can take some measure some physical you can increase your physical activity you can just reverse this process thank you